Veterans are trained to be leaders and team builders and problem solvers. When veterans take off their uniform, they bring these skills into our neighborhoods, our workplaces, our schools, and help us build stronger communities. You all can make such an impact by telling the powerful, true stories of how veterans and military families continue to give so much to our communities long after they hang up their uniforms. They deserve our support, and I encourage everyone in this room to give it to them using the tools of our trade. I am Becky Canis, and I am a veteran of the U.S. Army. My name is Jake Herman. I'm a veteran of the United States Marine Corps. My name is Jake Wood. I'm a veteran of the United States Marine Corps. I'm the director of the 100,000 Homes Campaign. That is a national movement to find and house 100,000 of the very most long-term and vulnerable people off the streets of America. In trying to offer my services to go and help the people of Haiti, I was denied by numerous organizations. And so, along with another Marine, I organized a team of military veterans and doctors to go down to Port-au-Prince. We arrived there three and a half days after the earthquake, and for three weeks, we provided medical triage operations in the hardest hit areas of the city. I moved to one of the poorest districts in all of Kenya to launch what became the pilot project of Nuru International, a radical new approach to ending extreme poverty. We were using the skills and experiences that we'd learned through a decade of war to help people in their time of need. Ending homelessness is possible. I just exhort you to use your power to tell stories for good. It can really make a difference. People who want to tell these stories know that they have a home know that there's an opportunity for them to tell the stories in this way, but also tell them in a unique way. It's irrefutable. Storylines can change knowledge, attitudes, and behavior, and they do every single day. When we're looking for support and resources to help us create the storylines and characters that can include veterans, we can reach out to Got Your Six. They can provide advice, stories, data, and even actual veterans to help us enhance our creative process. We need to look at ways to be connecting writers and producers, the creative community, to these real stories of real people and case studies so that it gets the creative process going. It is our obligation to be able to convene our writers, but also get them in front of real people and not tamper with the creative process, but hopefully spark an interest that helps them want to tell a story. In the first season of our show, The Mindy Project, we introduced a character named Sam, played by Seth Rogen. Sam was on a short leave from a combat deployment to Afghanistan when he decided to drop in on his friend Mindy, who he hadn't seen since sleepaway camp almost 20 years ago. Uh, Sam? I'm Danny. Hey, thank you so much for your service. No Can problem. someone get this guy a sandwich? And not a wrap, an actual sandwich on real bread? Awesome. That's what you're fighting for. I'll keep that in mind while I'm taking fire. I know you will. Yeah. We found ways that we could highlight how awkward it can be how the public treats and has that struggle of, are we worshiping the vet as a hero? Are we standing back because maybe they're a victim of PTSD? But we found a way to do it comedically. Yeah. There's even more singing competition shows now. That actually, that actually spooked me out for a second. Your hair's pretty long. For the military, yeah. This happens in like two weeks. Whoa. Very good metabolism. <laughs> and we couldn't have been happier with Seth Rogen's nuanced portrayal of Sam. When we started the idea of creating a medical show, we began doing research into all sorts of trauma and uh, a pattern began to emerge when we started doing our research. And as we talked to actual medical personnel, we realized they had one thing in common. They were all veterans. TC and I met in Afghanistan. And so we bring a lot of our battlefield methods into this setting. It's working. Where'd you learn that? Afghanistan. Seven years I served in the United States Army, which is seven more years than Governor Reston ever served. A fact you conveniently omitted from my intro. How about soldier, lieutenant? I didn't have a lot of time to think. You think maybe if you'd let me prep Don, you for that? I... You had a brand. I'm a Marine, Don. I will beat the shit out of you. I don't care how many protein bars you eat. Hey, 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 hey. So as content creators, we are being challenged this morning. We're being asked to help create a national narrative about veterans, the vast majority of whom come home and adapt and achieve and live and love and lead. And that doesn't mean we have to do shows about veterans. It doesn't mean we have to be heavy handed. What it really means is what a great tool we're being given. When we're looking at a really captivating storyline, we have much higher knowledge gains, attitude changes, and changes in behavior. And with great influence comes great responsibility. We must always continue to educate ourselves and ensure that our content is both entertaining 
and reflective of our society. As all of you try and create characters, everyone struggles to make them interesting and give them interesting backstories and, and what is their family structure, what is their work experience, are they gay, straight, what's their ethnicity, religion? Well, how about have they done military service? We're delivering aid where it's needed. We're helping people in their greatest time of need. And what began as an awakening in me in 2003 has become a movement. This movement is living proof that the frame really, really matters and the work that you guys do every day is so important to people you'll never meet. Those are the kinds of stories that inspire creative people. Let's all commit to do our part to make veterans visible, dimensional, inspiring, and yes, even normal on the screens we serve, big and small. I want to thank Got Your Six and the Hollywood Radio and Television Society for hosting this event. I want to thank all of you for your enthusiasm, vision, and willingness to help. And Jill and I look forward to seeing your work in the months and years ahead.